Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to make an espresso shot with a reusable K cup in a Keurig K Cafe. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos on this Keurig K Cafe. I really like it. And I'm going to be making several different drinks. But one of the first things you've got to do is be able to make an espresso shot. And I'm going to show you how to do it with this cup. This is Amazon's number one best selling uh, reusable K cup. So it's called the Perfect Pod Store, and like I said, it's number one best selling. You get four of them for eight bucks. So let's take these. These are made very well. This is a steel, like a mesh for a filter system. It's got an O-ring on the top that when you close the lid, you want to make sure when you close it that it it stays closed. You can get some coffee grounds underneath there, and then um. You might get some water coming up around the lid. The bottom of it's got an opening because in the bottom of a Keurig, there's a needle. The needle doesn't puncture this. So it's just going to sit right here. But that top needle is going to go right in that area right there. It's going to inject the hot water and the hot steam in your, your coffee grounds or your espresso grounds. And then you're going to be able to get a shot out. But these, like I said, having four of them around is really nice because it seems like I'm constantly cleaning this one. So the K-Cafe is a really nice machine, but if you look up here, when you're doing your lattes and cappuccinos, um, when you press that button, it illuminates the shot button. So you're only able to do a shot. Now a shot is only about three ounces. You're wondering why I got these little cups, because they hold just, just three ounces. So when you do coffee, when you do the coffee side, you can do all of these uh, but six ounces is the smallest you can do on the coffee side. So when we do a, when we're gonna do a latte and we're gonna froth our milk, we're first gonna do a shot. So we're gonna hit this button. Now it seems like this shot, this shot kind of presses down like it's a button, but it doesn't do anything. Not until you press the big K. It's already lit and the strong light is lit as soon as you press the latte and cappuccino button. Okay, so I've got, I bought some um, Starbucks espresso. Now this is the whole bean and I had to, I've got a, a grinder and I, I ground it up. Now I may not have it as fine as it needs to be, but espresso should be ground really found, uh, fine. Now I did buy some already ground. This is Starbucks espresso already ground up. So it's not super, super fine, but it looks like this one might be about the same consistency or some of it's actually a little finer. So we're going to try both of them in it. First, we're going to try the um, the package that was already ground up from Starbucks. Now, I'm not an expert on espresso and, and all of that, but I, I have made espresso from coffee um, grounds and coffee K-cups. So you do get a pretty decent shot. So when you do the, the shot side of it, even though it's a coffee K-cup in there, you're only going to get three ounces of water through it. And it does taste like a pretty strong um, espresso shot. Now, I do know they make actual espresso uh, coffee beans and they make espresso K-cups. The, the espresso K-cups are kind of hard to find, but you can get some really good varieties with just using um, regular K-cup, coffee K-cups, or ground um, coffee. So we're going to be using some ground coffee for espresso shots too, and I'll show you what that's like. So these things hold two tablespoons of coffee grounds. Okay, so I bought my reusable uh, filter cup from Walmart, and it came in this, this package with this uh, conv convenient scoop. So you can scoop up your grounds, and then you put this lid on, and it helps you pour it into your reusable uh, K-cup. And this, this thing actually works pretty good. And it's two tablespoons. So these reusable K-cups, that's what they hold. You're supposed to put two tablespoons of coffee grounds in them. Okay, so I've got my scoop filled up. I'm going to put the top on. And then you just make sure it's nice and open. And you just kind of want to do it in one motion. Now you want to make sure you don't have any grounds on the lip. Because when we close this, we want to make sure this closes. See how it's, it's closed all the way around? That's really important. So now we've got our reusable... K-cup filled with espresso grounds. 
So we treat this just like any other K-cup. We're going to, you leave everything alone, just like you were going to do a normal K-cup. Even though that needle's down in there, this is not going to, this is not going to get pierced by that needle. So when you put it in, make sure it should sit nice and flush. Okay. And then you're just going to close it like a normal K-cup. Then we're going to come up here. We want to do a shot. So we got to do the latte side. And then we're just going to press this button. You may think it's done, but it's got some more to go. Now, I'm just using these small cups for demonstration. It does kind of splatter all around. Okay. So now you've got your espresso shot. So I'm going to dump this espresso shot. So normally I could dump this into my um, whatever I was making, a latte or a cappuccino. But I'm just going to dump it into here. So we did get some sediment in there, okay? So they do sell these filters, these paper filters, and it says it's supposed to eliminate, it says it's supposed to eliminate sediment. So we're gonna do another one of these with that espresso ground um, coffee, and we're gonna try one of these filters because we did get a little bit of sediment. But there's our espresso shot. That's about three ounces. So cleanup is relatively simple on these K-cups. You're going to take it out like a normal K-cup. You're going to open the lid. You're going to open the lid, and then you can take this over to the garbage can. And then we can dump out those coffee grounds. Or if you recycle coffee grounds, you can dump them into a container. Okay, so I've got this cleaned out. I just washed it out with water. We're going to get a coffee filter. And there's a bunch of them in that box. We're going to peel one off. Make sure you only get one. And they fit in there just right. And it sticks up over the lip. So when you close it down, it kind of seals it. Now, this filter does take up some of the room in here. So you're not quite able to get as much in there as you would. So I'm going to show you. So here I've got that scoop filled up. I left just a little bit of room. Not much because of that filter taking up some room. So you're going to put the lid on. And then this is just a little tricky. You just kind of want to do it in one motion. So again, you want to make sure that there's none on the lip where you're going to be closing it. It's okay if it's mounded up a little bit because it's going to smash down a little bit. You want, it's okay for it to smash down a little bit, but you don't want to compact that. So we're going to close it. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Making sure that there's no... Um, coffee grounds underneath that lid okay so I think we got it it's a little exposed there but I think it's gonna be okay so now we're gonna put this in the Keurig and do a shot we're gonna put it in make sure it's flush we're gonna close this we're gonna put our little cup underneath there all right so I'm gonna hit the latte and then the shot or the big K button Okay, so that one that I just did with the filter, it leaked a little bit. And I think that's because I didn't have it sealed all the way. So I, I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to make sure. Okay. So I've got it. I've got it tight this time. So I've got it where no water. 
can come out around the sides and it's nice and tight. Let's try that again. Okay, so that worked a lot better when I had that cap sealed on there right. So again, here's without that filter. And let's check this one. So we do have a few coffee grounds. I'm not sure how the coffee grounds come past that filter. Um, that might have just been, I'm not sure. But we didn't have any sediment, so that's that's really important. You know, and both shots look about the same. So let's see just how much. Wow, oh, that is quite a bit of sediment. Yikes! So we're definitely going to want to use those paper filters. If you're doing an espresso shot with espresso grounds, and I, I think even with coffee grounds, you're going to want to use those filters. I mean, that's probably okay, you know, but it is it's kind of sediment. Okay, so here, let's, let's, let's open this up. This is the one with the paper filter now. Now, I'm not sure why I would have gotten any coffee grounds out, so... So let's open this up with the filter. So it looks like it does a pretty decent job. You still got to clean the lid, but you can at least take this filter basket. You know, you can take this over to your trash can and pound it out and it would come out. So there's what the filter basket looks like. So that's that filter basket does catch sediment. Um, this is not enough. You will get some sediment if you don't use a paper filter. But using a paper filter is a little more tricky um, because you want to make sure that lid, the lid goes down really tight. Because um, I did get some leakage when I had some coffee grounds between the lid and there. So now I've got the espresso beans that I ground up for an espresso shot. So I'm going to put this in there and see how it does. Okay, so I've got my scoop full. What I would recommend is don't fill this to the top and like level it off. You're going to have to, you know, take a little bit out. It's, I think it's just going to work a little bit better, be a little bit easier on you when you go to put it in this uh, reusable cake. So we're going to put the lid on. I do like this thing though, because it would be hard to get it in that little opening. So I've got my filter in there and then we're just going to dump it in. So you can't help but get, so you got, so see those coffee grounds are going to cause me problems. You want to get those away from the lid so that when I close the lid, kind of do it all in one motion. Okay. So it's nice and tight. That's what you want. This is going to prevent water from leaking out around it because I did have some water leaking out around the machine. So that is nice and tight. I do have some coffee grounds in there. That might be where those coffee grounds were coming from because when it shoots the water in there, it could come up and around. But we're going to try this with the coffee grounds that I, or the espresso beans that I ground up. So I just dumped that over real quick. And there was a few coffee grounds in there and I just, I just dumped it over and get the, got those out. So we're going to put it in the espresso machine. And then we're gonna we're gonna do a uh, shot.
these cups are like a dollar at Walmart. They're kind of hard to find. They're with the coffee mugs. Okay. So that worked really well. I didn't get any water leaking out around the machine. That first time I did it, and I didn't have the lid down all the way, um, I got some water coming out around it. So now let's check this shot. Wow, that's a see that that's a lot better. That's a true espresso shot. There's no sediment. There's no coffee grounds. And like I said, that's about three ounces. So now let's do some coffee grounds because I know I don't know if there's a debate out there or not. I know my daughter, um, you know, she's 23 and she's like, Dad, you can't use uh, coffee K cups for espresso shots. But I've been doing it and they taste really well. I think it's just because this, when you do an espresso shot with this, it just runs three ounces of water through the K-cup. So I think you can get a pretty strong uh, shot from a coffee K-cup. So we're going to try a couple different ones. Okay, so I'm not going to do K-cups. I'm going to I'm gonna do, so this is a coffee ground. So this is for making coffee. But I'm going to put some coffee grounds in here. Um, I'm definitely going to use the filter from now on. And we're going to see if we can make a shot just using... Um, coffee grounds okay so i've got the coffee bag open and this is where that scoop's really going to come in handy so you can just reach the scoop down in there get what you need kind of shake some off like i said you don't want the full two two it would be nice to be able to get the full two tablespoons but i think it's just going to eliminate a lot of problems if you just go down a little bit below so this is where that scoop's really going to be nice okay so we're going to put our filter in Kind of make you can kind of make sure it's hugging the walls to kind of make room for that espresso or that coffee grounds. Don't play around with it too much though. So I've got the um, got the scoop. I'm gonna put the lid on. Again, you'll get good at this. The more you do it, I'm already getting good at it. Um, the more I do it, I'm just gonna put it in there and then just kind of raise it up slowly. The main thing is, is yeah, no coffee grounds around this lid. And you're just going to close the lid, keep it nice and level. Okay, that closed. And I've got no coffee grounds underneath the lid. That's very important. There's no coffee grounds around it. Okay, so we're going to try this. This is just a, this is Starbucks Pike Place Roast. This is just a coffee blend. We're going to run a shot through it. So basically, we're just going to run three ounces of water through it. Put it in, we hit the latte button, and then we're gonna hit the, the K button. Okay, there's our three ounce shot. Okay, so we're gonna pour it into a glass, see how it looks. Okay, that looks really, really good. There's no sediment. That worked out really well. And again, you know, that's an espresso shot. This is gonna taste really good with your uh, different drinks. You know, in Starbucks, when they make different drinks, they use different espresso, like they'll use a blonde espresso grounds and so I think using their blonde coffee roast and different things, I'm going to be experimenting around with this machine, making those drinks. And that's what I'm going to use. I'm not always going to buy an espresso uh, ground to use in the machine or an espresso K-cup. I'll be using coffee grounds for my espresso shots. Okay, so let's just go over what we've done. So the first time was with the reusable K-cup with no filter. We used no filter when we did this, and we had a bunch of sediment. Um, so we're definitely going to be using filters. And I used espresso coffee grounds from Starbucks. And then we used a filter. It came out really well with espresso coffee grounds. And then we used another filter. 
Yeah, we used another filter when I ground it up into um, an espresso grind. And then we did a coffee, when we just did normal coffee uh, grounds and used it for an espresso shot. And then these are the filters you're going to want to use. There's a bunch of them. Uh, you can get these at Walmart or, or off of Amazon. They're made by the same company, Perfect Pod. But it, it says it eliminates sediment. And I didn't know what that was at first, but I found out. So, and you know, you can even use, like if you've got some folders around the house, you can use those coffee grounds for an espresso shot. So again, this video was about um, using the reusable K-cup for espresso shots in the Keurig K-Cafe. I did another video where we use just coffee grounds, but we run the more, we run the six ounces through. So I've got another video and it worked really well too, but you're going to want to use that filter even for coffee grounds because you do get some sediment when you run it through without the, without the paper filter in there. So please check out my other videos. I'm going to be doing some other videos on different drinks that you can make with this machine, but this is the start because you got to start with the espresso shot. So we can make one with with coffee grounds, with espresso grounds, you know, just normal everyday Folgers. And using this is a little bit more work than a K-cup, but you're going to save a lot of money, and it's definitely a lot more environmentally friendly. So I hope this video helped. Please leave your comments below, uh, new videos you would like to see. This is pretty much why I did this video, because I was getting some comments, hey, we want to know how to use the reusable K-cup. And it's a, it was a great idea, so I appreciate the heads up on this. I do recommend this. This was like seven bucks, I think, at Walmart with this, with with a pod in this. So not too expensive, and it's it is worth it. I know I thought it was kind of cheesy at first, but it it does work kind of nice. So again, this is just a dad. I hope this video helped. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.